Hello and welcome to Hoosier Nation on this week's episode of This is Indiana. I'm Olivia Ray. And I'm Lindsay Wright. We welcome you back to This is Indiana. Here we'll give you an up close and personal look at some of your favorite IU athletes, coaches, and facilities. And that's not all. Watch here for previews, updates, and highlights from around Hoosier Nation. We're excited to have you. Indiana's fall sports are in full swing now, so let's take a look at how the Hoosiers are doing so far. The Hoosier football team took their first loss of the season to Wake Forest on Saturday, 33-28. IU quarterback Richard Legau threw for three touchdowns and 496 yards, but his five interceptions dug the Hoosiers into too big of a hole to climb out. Senior wide receiver Ricky Jones put up a career performance with his eight catches and 208 yards through the air. The Hoosiers are now 2-1, heading into conference play as they take on the Michigan State Spartans at Memorial Stadium this Saturday night. Indiana men's soccer remains unbeaten for the first time since 1997 with five wins and four draws. Nearly halfway through Big Ten play, the Hoosiers are ranked number 16 by top drawer soccer in the nation. Last Friday, they posted their fourth straight shutout in a 0-0 draw against Rutgers. Some players that have made an impact this season are goalkeeper Colin Webb, who has posted six Big Ten shutouts. And offensively, Tanner Thompson, who was named preseason All-America first team, had three of his four shots on goal last weekend. And IU women's soccer had a big win on Sunday as they took down Wisconsin 3-2 at Bill Armstrong Stadium. The Hoosiers battled back from an early 1-0 deficit as freshman Allison Jordan scored her first career goal for the equalizer. In the 78th minute, sophomore Cassidy Blanca netted the game winner to bring IU to 5-6-1 on the season. Much more to come on This is Indiana when we come back. More highlights of your favorite sports teams. Stick around. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for Indiana University. Welcome back to This is Indiana. We have more Hoosier highlights from last week, so let's jump right back into it. Hoosier field hockey team had a dominating performance on Sunday, beating Central Michigan 6-1. Sierra Gerard and Kate Barber each had a pair of goals in the victory as the Hoosiers moved to 6-4 this season. The volleyball team fell to number 10 Purdue this Saturday in a three-set match at Mackey Arena. Senior Allison Hammond led the Hoosiers with nine kills and Megan Tallman with 34 assists. But they were not able to overcome the Boilermakers' 517 hitting percentage. Indiana is now 12-3 overall. Coming up, we have an up-close and personal on senior volleyball player Jasmine McDonald. Stay tuned for more on Indiana Volleyball. I'm Sage Deal of ESPN. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for Indiana University. Volleyball player Jasmine McDonald has helped the Hoosiers win 12 out of their 15 overall matches so far with nearly 50 blocks and over 100 kills. And with the Hoosiers' hot start this season, fans are comparing the group to Coach Dunbar's 2010 team that made a Sweet 16 run. And some may remember one of the standouts from that 2010 team, Ashley Benson. Benson has now joined the coaching staff and has taken McDonald under her wing. 
helping her lead this team to similar success. Take a look as Josh Margolis takes you up close and personal with Indiana Volleyball. Senior Jasmine McDonald has become a force to be reckoned with at the net for the Hoosiers, and people have taken notice. The six foot two middle blocker spent the summer playing for the U.S. Collegiate National Team in Europe, where they took home gold. It was just awesome playing with those girls that I played with, players that they just went for it, you know, fun on and off the court, and it was a big learning experience. You're playing against people that are faster, taller, you know, foreign, don't speak English, and it was a fun experience and a lot of learning. For McDonald, making the Collegiate USA team is all the more impressive considering when she took up the game. Spring slash um, winter before going into my freshman year was when I first played and learned everything. And you know, I was at Team Indiana in Indianapolis and I just loved it. Like it was so much fun. I wasn't very good but um, to start, but it was just so much fun. And I think, you know, Coach Dunbar and other coaches saw the raw talent and kind of took off from there. McDonald's game has further blossomed under the tutelage of former All-American Ashley Benson, who joined the team as a volunteer assistant coach this season. She's gotten so much better, you know, just the smallest things, but they're very key things. And um, she tends to, she can be really quick and she can be really, you know, all over the place, but she, she tends to find a good calmness in her. And, I think that comes with the maturity in, in the years here at Indiana. Oh, we gained so much, you know, she's All-American, did great, great things here, and, you know, one of our season did big things, so it's, it's an honor to literally every day be able to walk in, because she was like my idol when I was back in middle school and high school and going through the recruitment process, and, you know, everything she says, we soak it up, and she's been a great, great addition to this program, and we're grateful to have her. Benson holds six program records and was a member of the 2010 team that reached the Sweet 16. The program hasn't made the tournament since, something McDonald is hoping to change. The NCAA tournament, not only making it, but, you know, being successful, you know, making a long run in it. But that is definitely a team and personal goal. Jasmine can go so far, and she knows she can. Uh, we all know she can. It's just a matter of, of how far she wants to push herself. Um, you know, we all have the same, the same mindset as to where we want her to be, but it's up to her to finish it. For This Is Indiana, I'm Josh Margolis. Thanks, Josh. You can check back next week for highlights on this week's Hoosier Volleyball matchups. Coming up, we'll take you inside the home of the IU baseball team. One player gives you the full tour on our first segment of Hoosier Cribs. Bart Kaufman Field is ranked number two in the Big Ten for best baseball fields. Kick your shoes off and make yourself at home as IU infielder Austin Cangelosi takes you inside his Hoosier crib. How's it going, Hoosier Nation? I'm Austin Cangelosi. I'm a senior on the Indiana University men's baseball team. I'm here to show you a great tour of the Kaufman. Come with me. All right, welcome to Scarborough Clubhouse. I think the guys are already getting after it in there, so let's go see what these guys are doing. Hey! How we doing? What we got? What we got here today? Right now, so. We're gonna create like a full house. Or, uh, You're gonna create a full house? Yeah, we're cheating. Hold on. So, like, stuff like this, guys get here early before early work. So, 11.45 right now, early work starts at 1. You got guys getting in and out of class. Uh, come here, play some cards, eat some lunch, do whatever you gotta do to get your mind right, get in routine, get ready to go. And we have the best facility in the country to do that. So, these guys cheat anyway. So. Hola! Let's go see what the guys are doing in the common area, huh? So, in baseball, you can't really think too much to be good. So you need some downtime if you're not playing well, or you just need to get away from school. So guys come in here and just kind of eat whatever, chalk and milk machine, and uh, just play ping pong, do some do some bets in here, just stuff like that. I can't even tell you how many times I lost on this table. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Here we have 
have a scout rolling hitting facility. Just just for guys to come in, get their work in. Just if you want to be good, you kind of got to get in your own routine. You can't have your coaches telling you what to do. So we have guys in here getting. We have their own T work they need to do. We have machines. We got a great staff, great support staff, and managers. How we feeling? Pretty good. Pretty Top good. Eight doing all right. That pinky hurt, though. Know. First, first, first game back against the double with the busted pinky. I think he milked it a little bit. Press box, a little out of my element, so we're gonna see what we see what Jeremy's doing over here in the media office. What's going on, Jeremy? How we doing? Hey, how are you doing? Pretty good. What we got going today? Uh, getting ready. Uh, volleyball's got Purdue tomorrow. We got the big uh, football game tomorrow against oh. Wake Forest. So you got your hands full a little bit. Lots of stuff going on. Jeremy works like a lot of sports here, and he's got a, his new office is right here, front view of practice. He was telling me he thinks we're looking good, so. Uh, he kind of makes me look good when you're hitting 220. He still has nice things to say about you, even though when you're not playing too well. So it's nice to have them around behind the scenes. Uh, yeah. Can't do what we do without them. Drums, please. So here we are, field level. Uh, we're in the bullpen, so just don't tell the pitchers we're out here. It's the kind of the best seat in the house. But uh, this field just got put up uh, four years ago today, so we're the last class, me, Craig, and Colby, to come through here with the, the new field. So we're lucky to have it, one of the best places to play in the country. So if you don't appreciate what you have, how you're going to enjoy playing a kid's game for a living, you know? So it's, a, it's really an honor to be out here with these guys every day. And it's more of the story, just don't tell the pitchers we're in here, they'll get really mad that we're out here. Don't try to fix it, and think of the summers of the past. Adjust the base and let the out. So come springtime, you're gonna see your boys in cream and crimson in here rocking it. We just got these new decals on the wall. Dickerson, Figley, Schwarber, Travis, just guys that have just really stapled the program for us and guys I personally got to play with and look up to. And it's just uh, coming from what they came from to not even a big Ten contender to almost national champions. It's just, just shows the way this program's going. I'm excited to be a part of it. One last go around, Omaha or bus. And uh, we couldn't do it without you guys, Hoosier Nation. I mean, 34th best ballpark in the nation. Something to, really something to brag about. Second in the Big Ten, so hopefully get that to number one. It's an honor and privilege to play here every day for you guys, and I'm excited that I got to show you uh, my crib. All right, so you saw how we work. Kind of saw how we play. That's Bart Coffin for you. Get out of my crib. Coming up next, we'll prepare you for the week and take a look at this week's Hoosier matchups. Coming up this week, the field hockey team returns home to take on number 15 ranked Iowa. Start time is at 3 p.m. Friday at the IU Field Hockey Complex. And the women's golf team is also back in action at the Powerade Cougar Classic in Hanahan, South Carolina, starting this Sunday and ending next Tuesday. The women's soccer team hits the road this week, coming off a busy weekend. The team travels to Nebraska to take on the Corn Huskers at 8 p.m. on Friday. And the number four ranked men's soccer team returns to Bloomington to host number 10 ranked Butler Wednesday at Jerry Yegley Field at Bill Armstrong Stadium. Kickoff is slated for 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And up next for Hoosier Volleyball, the team hosts a pair of top three opponents as they welcome number two Minnesota on Friday and number three Wisconsin on Saturday. Both matches will be played at University Gym. And Hoosier Football takes on 17th ranked Michigan State this Saturday. That's right, it's a big weekend for IU football. Kickoff is at 8 p.m. right here in Bloomington at Memorial Stadium. You can watch it all on Big Ten Network, but better yet, buy your tickets See it all in action in person. That does it for us this week, but don't worry, though. There's much more to come. That's right, Olivia. We'll be back here next week, and throughout the season, we'll have more up-close stories with your favorite Hoosier athletes, and we'll keep you up on games and schedules. But that's not all. We want to hear from you. What do you want to see? You can tweet us your ideas at Olivia Ray or at Lindsay Wright. Thanks for joining us, and see you next week on This is Indiana.